Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and in today's tutorial, I will be showing you my process for sublimating on 100% cotton. Both of these shirts are Gildan Heavyweight, uh, the Gildan Heavy Cotton, 100% cotton. I purchased both, both of them from Walmart. And this is the design that I put on one. This one is TSU, Texas Southern University. And this one is PVAMU. This is uh, Prairie View A&M Panthers. Um, and I will show you my process for doing this. It is much easier than I thought it would be. Without further ado, let's head on over and look at the materials that you will need to create a design just like this. The materials that I will use for this project in addition to my typical sublimation package of things, the Hippo ink, Asa paper, white butcher paper. Um, I'll, I'll be using Cricut heat resistant tape. I will also use um, my, I'll be connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. And I will be using glitter vinyl for this. This one is, um, I call it sizer. Some people call it scissor. Um, but I'll be using glitter vinyl. I will be using my deep point blade to cut the glitter vinyl. I will be using these two images that um, I purchased online. And I will also be using um, just 100% cotton shirt. So this is a Gildan, it's actually heavy cotton, it's a medium. That one is black and I will use, um, a Gildan heavy cotton purple shirt. I purchased both of these from Walmart. And for the first time ever, I will be using, this is, I guess it's holographic or rainbow um, HTV. I, have, I haven't ever used this before, but I'm gonna use this and try to um, see the results of what happens when I sub on it. I haven't, haven't used this before. So we will learn together tonight with this, okay. Without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design, Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. The first thing that I'll do is upload the design that I'm planning to put on my t-shirt. And it is this one right here. Um, I am a Texas Southern University graduate and I made a shirt today to wear to the Battle of the Bands and Texas Southern wasn't there, but... <laughs> it's okay because that's how this whole thing came about and I'm glad it did. Okay, so I will resize this image right now. The view on my screen is at 100% and I can tell that if I wanted to put this on a shirt, it would be, of course, it would be too small. It's a print then cut image. Okay, I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Well, actually a lot bigger and I'm just going to keep going on my sizing until I get um, that triangle right here that tells me that it's too big. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Okay, keep going. No triangle yet, I'm gonna keep going until I see that triangle pop up. Okay, so I see the triangle now. The triangle lets me know that, you know, my image is too big for Cricut Design Space to, um, will, that will uh, um, allow me to do a print then cut. So I will go back down all right, so I don't have the triangle right here right now. Let me try to go up a little bit bigger and see what happens. Okay, I have the triangle, so I can go back down. Okay, so right now my um, image is at 7.123 and 6.72. Now this really doesn't matter because it depends on the image that you will be cutting. And, you know, one way to just figure it out is to just keep pulling it down without unlocking it because you want your proportions to be, you know, your height and width to be proportionate. So I didn't unlock it. Mine is still locked. Now, now that I have it to the size, you know, the biggest size that Cricut Design Space will allow me to um, to do a print then cut. The next thing that I'll do is I'll duplicate it say with me okay so i'm duplicating this and i don't need two print then cut images i need one to be a print then cut because this is the one that will be this is the image that will be sublimated this is going to be my either my clear 
HTV or my glitter vinyl or, you know, whatever I'm going to put on the cotton shirt to do sublimation. So because this is not going to be an actual image, I'm going to change this to a basic cut just to get the outline of this. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the size of this down a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want any of the white to show under, um, on top of my image or next to my image. So I'm just bringing it down just enough so that when I put my image on top and you'll see it when I do my press, um, that my image will completely cover the, the HTV. Okay. I think that is absolutely perfect. Okay. So now I can click make it. Okay, is sorting my um, two mats, my first mat. I, I, I am not going to mirror this because my sublimation preset will um, give me the option to mirror this. I am, however, going to mirror this because when my printed image comes um, out of my printer, it will be mirrored. And I want to make sure that my basic cut is mirrored just like my image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this printed and I'm also, while that's printing, I will um, go ahead and start cutting this, my basic cut, my uh, glitter vinyl. Okay, so I'm going to be using glitter iron-on. Um, if you don't have glitter iron-on, you can also use... Um, you can also use clear HTV. Clear HTV has been kind of hard to find lately, but if you're able to find some, go for it. Okay, so I'm going to get that cut. And I'm also going to, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm going to get this printed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click print. I'm going to click send to printer. I keep my bleed on. I'm going to turn on system dialog. Um, I did not mirror my image because my sub my printer sublimation settings will mirror it for me. I've already said that. So I'm being a little bit redundant right now. But I want to show you what that looks like. OK, so my, it's my Epson 2760. I'm going to click preferences. Okay, so my, um, these are my, this is my sublimation preset. Okay, so it's premium presentation paper mat, eight and a half by 11, high quality color, um, reverse order. I just keep that on. I'm going to click, these are all of my settings right here. Hopefully you can, you know, kind of zoom in and see that. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Print. I'm using a sub paper just like I referenced in my materials. I have my image printed out and I am going to let it sit under my heat press um, just on the plate for a few seconds. I don't let it sit for a minute, maybe just, you know, 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure all of the ink is dry. And the next thing that I'll do is um, when it comes off the heat press, I will put it on a green standard grip mat and I will let my Cricut, see it's already starting to smoke. I will let my, I will let my um, Cricut Explore Air 2 cut it out. Okay, so you can see how I let my Cricut cut this out for me. And I can peel it. This is the A sub paper. And I can just peel it away from my mat. And that's the image that will go on top of the glitter vinyl. First thing I'll do is give my shirt some heat. Just put it on here to give it some quick heat. For a few seconds okay my heat press should be heating up to 
uh, 400 degrees. Okay, I am going to go ahead and put the glitter vinyl on the on the shirt. Okay, now that I have that weighted out, um, just kind of eyeball it to make sure it's three, about three inches down from the collar. Some good old glitter vinyl. My heat press is actually kind of high for this, but um, when I tried this earlier, I just let it, instead of pressing it for, you know, 30 seconds, I pressed it for 10 seconds and I just put a Teflon sheet on top. So I'm going to do that again because that worked. So let's I have see. it on my heat press. Um, and I'm gonna just press it for like 10 seconds. It's counting down. Um, I did not, you know, check the measurements. Okay, so it's been about 10 seconds. Let me pull it up. Okay, so my Teflon sheet moved. Um, and I'm sure it's pressed on there good enough, but what I did earlier was I pressed it twice, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to press it one more time for about 10 seconds again. You don't have to do this. The only reason I'm doing this is because really for glitter vinyl, it doesn't. the temperature doesn't need to be this high. See, it's on like 391. It doesn't need to be that high. Um, all right, so... Okay, so now that I have my glitter vinyl, hopefully you can see that very well. I still have my heat press on. Um, I have the glitter vinyl pressed on the shirt. What I'm going to do is take this, my image, and put it face down directly on top, making sure that none of the glitter vinyl is showing. Okay, and hopefully I line it up well enough because that was the goal with making the image a little bit bigger than the glitter vinyl. And I do mean, a, you know, you saw when I was in Cricut Design Space, I just made it a tiny bit smaller. Okay, so now I just, you know, have to play with it and line it up. Okay, I think I got it as good as I'm going to get it. Now I'm gonna add some tape. This is the Cricut heat resistant tape. And I do see some glitter right there. And I don't want it to show, I really don't. So kind of just pull it where I have my, um, but I also don't want any ghosting. So let's see. I am going to press this. I'm just put a piece of um, butcher paper there. I really don't need to put any on the inside of this shirt because it's a black shirt and I doubt if it's gonna <laughs> show through there. And plus the glitter vinyl will protect it from um, from going through from going through there from going through the all the way to the back. Here, I have my ace up paper. Just put a piece of butcher paper on top. And I'm going to press this for 60 seconds. Okay, it beat. Let's see what we're working with. Let's see if we cooking with grease. How beautiful that is. Even though there is a tiny bit of white around it, it worked. It worked. Okay, well, okay. on to the purple shirt. Now, remember I said I haven't used this 
vinyl before. And I think it's called holographic. I don't know. I just holographic or rainbow HTV. So that's you can see it. Uh, see the colors. Um, so I will get this pressed on. I've already added a little bit of heat to my to my shirt, and this should be cute. OMG. Now I purchased this locally um this weekend i went on a little i would even call it a scavenger hunt to search for some sublimation blanks and just see what supplies i could purchase locally instead of always um, purchasing from amazon um and i saw this and i thought it was cute and i typically don't buy stuff like this I'm gonna be cautious about pressing this because I don't even know the settings for pressing this. So I might even just do like five seconds. You know, I typically fold my butcher paper in half, but not when I'm doing um, fabrics. We're getting ready to learn together. Ooh, not a fan. I don't love it. I do not. I can tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some glitter HTV on top of this and do it again with glitter. Trash. I have glitter vinyl on this purple shirt now. And um, I'm going to press it the same way I did the black shirt. And we will go from there. Just put a little bit of heat on it to press the, um, the glitter vinyl the glitter HTV to the um, to press the glitter HTV just to tack it down. Okay, and my heat press must be set to 385 because I have not seen it get up to 400, even though I thought for sure that I made sure it was set on 400 but whatever okay I'm gonna take this so you can kind of see the image behind there already because of what happened with the um holographic vinyl, but I didn't want to throw this away, so I'm going to get this thing a go. Okay, so once again, I let my Cricut cut this out for me, and I will peel it from this mat. And I am probably going to cut these whiskers off because there's no whiskers here. And I don't know what, it might not even make a difference. They might just come out in black. I'll leave them. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right. I'm ready to go. I'm going to turn you around and put it back under the heat press for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Here we go. Okay, I pulled it from my heat press to put it on this. Um... Okay, it doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look. Now, wait a minute. It's nice. <laughs> I take back everything I said. It's nice. I like it. I see a little piece right here where I, um, this gold should be up there, but. I would wear this 
this is this is this is nice so the holographic vinyl actually might have helped me more than it hurt me all right I like it. okay so hopefully you were able to follow along with my process and you will be able to you know do sublimation on 100 cotton just like this it is much easier than i thought it would be much much easier than i thought it would be um i love these designs i am uh, a graduate of texas southern university and i was in the band so you know in the ocean of soul i love texas southern university and uh, Prairie View A&M University is also close to my heart um, because it's right here in the great state of Texas and I love their band also. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single Tuesday and Friday and even, you know, even more often depending on how my work week is going. I appreciate you so much. Thank you again for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm already on to the next goal of 2,000 subscribers. Um, well, once again, thanks so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.